Good morning children. Now we shall learn about the perimeter of a figure. So, what is a perimeter? Let us understand it first. What is perimeter here? You can say the total distance around a figure is called the perimeter of that figure. Now, this is the piece of land which Mehnatram bought. It is a square land and he wished to do the fencing around the land so that no stray animals came in and destroyed his farm. So what did he do? He had many small pieces of wire which he thought he could use to fence the farm. And how did he do it? See, he put the logs around the farm and he used the small wires to fence it like this. See? So let us see how Manatram did the fencing of his farm. Starting from this side, he put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven pieces of small wire then he did the same for the next side here too he used one two three four five six seven pieces of wire again this side he used seven pieces and again seven pieces so in all he used 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7 pieces of wire which is equal to 28 pieces of wire. Now let us see one by one how he did this. So he started putting the pieces of wire along the fixed poles like this. This is the first piece then second third piece fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. So in all seven pieces of small wires were used to fence this side of the farm. Seven pieces. Next he put the fence on the other side. So one side seven pieces of wire were used. Then he did fencing for the next side see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 this side also he used 7 pieces of wire in total so if we see for the each side of the farm he used 7 7 7 and seven pieces of wire so in total he used 28 pieces of wire because all sides are equal and we need to add all this to get the total number of wire pieces used so here we see the parameter is equal to 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7 which is 28 pieces of wire now why did we say perimeter? Because it is the total distance along a figure or it is the sum of the line segments of a closed figure. That's why we add up all this number to get the perimeter of this figure. Now suppose the length of the small wire which we used for fencing is equal to 1 meter and if we line up seven wires in one line without any gap and without any overlap what do we see see one two three four five six seven so here the length would be equal to seven times one meter which is equal to seven meters so 
coming back to the farm we will see the length of the wire used for fencing this side would be 7 meters same way for all the sides it would be 7 meters only as each side is same and it is a square shape now let's see what would be the perimeter here 7 meters this side 7 meters this side 7 meters and this side 7 meters if each wire is of length equal to 1 meter and each side has used 7 pieces of wires so the perimeter here would be equal to 28 meters check the unit here since each wire was of length 1 meter the unit of perimeter will also be meter now what do we see here the perimeter was the sum of all the four side lengths so we can say the perimeter is equal to 4 times each side which is 7 4 times the side of the square figure which is equal to 28 meters so now we know if we know the side of a square land then we can find its perimeter as 4 times the side so perimeter here is equal to 4 times 7 which is equal to 28 meters so now you know if you are given a square and you want to find its perimeter how will you do it the side is known so the perimeter will be equal to 4 times the side and what will be its unit unit will be the same as the unit of the side so if it is in centimeter it would be centimeter if it's in meter it will be meter and if it's in kilometer you will write kilometers there so parameter is equal to 4 times the side now coming back to the story in the story we saw as a clue children moved in different directions covering 100 steps and what did they get they got a square with each side as 100 steps now can we find the perimeter of the square yes we can we know the perimeter is equal to the total distance around the figure or you can say the sum of the line segments that make up the figure so here it would be this side plus this side plus this side and plus this side so the children covered 100 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100 which is 400 steps so the perimeter here is equal to 400 steps clear children now suppose each step was equal to one foot so what do we do 400 steps would be equal to 400 multiplied by one foot which is equal to 400 feet so you can say the perimeter would be equal to 400 feet see 100 100 100 100 so the perimeter is equal to 400 feet so now you know how to calculate the perimeter of a square that's all for now bye bye children